you have ideas for an intro? <laughs> Uh, just rip off some Minecraft intro and then that might work, or just keep this as an intro. I don't know, I don't know Minecraft that well. Hey guys, welcome back to the Let's Play of Minecraft. Can't wait to get back on this Anarchy server. Hello, world. Uh, not a good intro, but I haven't been around for a while. Um, because reasons and life and things. But look who I have with me. I have Chase from Super Ultra Mega Play Movie and the Mario Kart Workout and Affleck. And if you guessed it by the title of this video, which you should have if you know how to read, we are going to be watching and reacting to the murder of Carver Cub and Affleck. Now, why do we not have Alex here? Because he has to work. Because he's an adult and he's doing good things. But yeah. I'm still a child. And I'm an adult and I'm doing this, so that should explain a lot. Uh, but even without Alex, we're still going to talk about, react, do all these kinds of things. And I have notes, because I'm efficient. Um, what did I write down the first thing I talked about? Was I supposed to bring some? No, you were not. Because I did not say to. <laughs> uh, so, let's talk about how the idea of this came about. How did this idea come about? It was more or less because we replaced the original Ben, who was supposed to be in our last movie, uh, with a cardboard cutout. So we decided to murder him, right? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah, um, when we wrote our plays, um, and specifically Super Ultra Mega Play, like, we actually had a Ben person. He he was a real person and existed, but he wasn't able to do the film with us. So we had to completely rewrite and change the character to Parker cut out Ben Affleck, because we thought that'd be funnier <laughs> than getting another person. Yeah. So, um, and when, like, after we filmed that film, and then, like, I was just, like, sitting in my room, I was thinking, like, how can we do a sequel? And, I can't, and like, I just thought... Murder mystery, I just had the idea of like me opening my trunk and finding the head of Carver Cub and Affleck. I'm like, that's an idea. I don't know where to go with it. Uh, so, yeah. We'll just, we'll just go with it. Yeah, uh, but also, I did not think well about how this ties into the first film. Just besides like us and Carver Cub and Affleck, that's like yeah. the only thing that ties in. But well, besides like the fact that like, you know, it's the whole, whole thing that got you famous and me and Alex just still there. Yeah, dude, I just, I was, this is so egotistical for me, I'm just like, I'm successful, screw the other guys, because <laughs> I'm not considerate, um, now what else did I, uh, but I thought that we, like, I knew more from film school now, M more. more, so I thought that this would come out better, ish, it, somewhat did, in places, but like, yeah. Because of, like, being more, like, it's like, okay, now I know what to do. I know how to write better. I know how to yeah. do things better. It kind of came out a little bit worse, in a way. I mean, it was better than, like, the one Darth Vader scene or what, whatnot. Like, yeah, like, there's... The other one with, like, the music. Yeah, the, like, definitely, like, when it comes to, like, editing, sound, like, and mm -hmm. all that stuff. A lot better, because I knew what I was doing now. Yeah. But, like, um, overall, like, with the story and whatnot... It kind of came out a bit worse because I think I might have set my expectations too high. Mm -hmm. um, and like, I, I had gone through like several rewrites of this. I had started out with Small Idea, I don't remember where it went, that I was like, you know what? We're gonna make this feature. Like, we're gonna make a full movie out of this. And like, by the time I had, God, it was like November or something like that, I got into like age like 60 something yeah i had to cut it back down because they like about with three incarnations yeah and then like at that point like i hadn't even come to the ending of it yet i'm like this is not going to be doable even like with time like it's still not going to be doable <laughs> and so then i set out like rewriting it re with like some different ideas like shortening it but in doing so i kind of lost sight of like where I wanted the film to end up and with like who the villain like should have been because like in this film like there's still those hints at, like, you know, Jenny Binklebottom being the true villain. Yeah, I remember that from, the, from like, the first script, yeah. Yeah, because, like, I bring Jenny Binklebottom, like, at least the idea of, like, like a completely, like, like, yeah. yeah, like, there's a whole backstory, like, even, like, the jokes about Binklebottom, it's like, there's motivation there, like, mm -hmm. there's clear motivation, and then, like, by the end, it's like she wants to make an impossible case to solve, it's like, the impossible case is there is no case, it's a cardboard box, you can't murder a cardboard box. Yep. Kind of, like, to break my mind or something like that. So, like, an interesting villain with some kind of motivation, completely gone, replaced by my little brother, because I was... I mean, it worked pretty well. I mean, he was actually a better actor it, than me. Not, you're both good, but, uh, but, like, I feel like that I could come off of it a bit 
better because we had written that scene where um, like he has that whole audition like you know, like deep passion of like Shakespearean monologue and we're like that's amazing that's fantastic then we cut to Ben Affleck who's just a box just sitting there doing nothing and then we are like you instantly have the role and like oh yeah you're awesome exactly like that kind of thing and so like a better motivation we kind of forgot about that. It's just like, hey, got your movie. I'm like, no, he's got the part. And so, like, murder, murder, time, time for murder, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but I, I loved it. I, there's a lot that I love about it. And yeah, where else? What, what am I gonna say? I don't know. The uh, TV went out. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, but there's a lot of last minute changes with this. Mm. And like, even like when like my final like rewrite, it was like still like twenty to thirty pages. Because if I that's still doable. We can do that. <laughs> no. That's it's, big no. <laughs> what? All of our winter break, basically? Almost all of the winter break. Because we, out, had, we had to spread back. it out so much because, like, our schedules, like, weren't aligning. Like, and... Let's see, because... It's fine. She's, she's just outside. She does right. that whenever she's like, outside. The, the very, like, end, though, we were... It was, it's like how it was now. Just me and you talking to a camera... Because Alex had to leave early. Yeah, because he had because he had yeah. stuff, he had to go he back to school. Things. And he had to go back to school. So then we, cause I tried planning everything out. I was like, okay, we can do this, this, this at this time, and like we only had sound equipment for like a certain amount of days. So I'm like, okay, I know we can like outside scenes are the most important to get with that stuff. So we got that. Thank God. Yeah. Um. But then like uh, Alex was like limited, and like I was working, and like you had your own stuff going on. So it's like yeah. schedules. More to lighting, so like any last minute changes happen like on set on that day. I would just be like going through scope. I'm like, okay, we can do that, 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 that. We can't do that, so we're gonna do it that. It's just like it didn't work as well as the last minute changes in Super Ultra Mega Play the movie because yeah. like our limitations were kind of our benefit with that. Yeah, school and you know it, it was a, something you su it suspected from like a kids who were like still in high school. Yeah. But now that since you two are in high school, I mean in college and I'm in high school, you know they expect a little bit more. But it's just, and remember when we had a whole crew to help us? Yeah, we just we like, did, but said, no, 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 we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We weren't. we weren't fine. Again, schedules could not align to save our lives. So I'm like, okay, it's going to be too much to try to get a whole crew together. So I'm sorry, but we can't do crew. They were all fine with it. Um, I hope that one day I can work with a crew back at home. I think it might be a little bit easier since the, uh, a few of them are seniors now. Yeah, and like I feel like like if we did like during the summer, I feel like it could have worked a lot better because like people might just be working, but they don't have to work out like well, school. Well, yeah, like we can do things during the summer. I mean, look out, guys! There might be something. I don't know. I haven't written the thing yeah. in a long time. <laughs> could be. Could be. We have a few ideas from the old idea book from uh, high school. I mean, that's true. I gotta I gotta look yeah. that up. <laughs> Let's see. Cause I think I think I, I think I still have mine in my uh, in my closet somewhere. Mm. Yeah, because we have the uh, whole Captain America Boy Scout thing. Yeah, but, I feel like. I feel like the only trouble with that would be like filming in the woods. Oh, yeah, you got a woods back there. I mean, yeah, but you know, it's, it's, the, it's the woods. Thanks. Anyway, everything. We're, we're rambling on things. Yeah. Okay. Um, what did we learn from this experience of this one specifically? I like to procrastinate a lot. Um, Alex is amazing. Yes. Josh is amazing. Thank you. Uh, I, I really need to learn when to not like stare off like this when I'm talking to someone directly. I mean, like my eyes go like the other direction. I even notice that like both. It's the like there, there, your eyes are like there, but your head yeah. is still fixed. It's, like, it's like, hey guys, what's up? My name is Chase. Uh, like, every time I, I see it, I'm like, it's like stare. I'm there. Uh, what I what did I take away from this? I've become a better editor, um, but I need to know like I should know what to expect like when we start filming. It's like get get expectations like. Clear expectations set in my mind, so that way I know like how to write because I had written it with like a whole like crew and like you know like all this like stuff that like I wasn't gonna have. But I'm like yeah. it'll be fine. Be fine. Nope. <laughs> so like that's fun. So like just better set my expectations and more follow the script better. Yeah. <laughs> more follow the script better. English. We, we, we like to bend it in half. I we mean. bent it a lot, <laughs> and like sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. Super Ultra Mega Play, the movie, it worked better um, because, like, shorter scripts and, like, just, like, just a similar, a much simpler plot than, like, anything. And it's just, like, okay, we get, like, we could improvise in that one. This one, not so much. You know, I just had an idea, though, um, about, like, you can probably look this up. But, um, since we, we can use some of our old plays 
or something over the summer. We probably could. I mean, that, just... that might be a little more efficient, easier for us to produce since we already have a script. Yeah. We can go back through and change it. And... Sorry, I'm just yelling at you. Oh, no, yeah, you're good. I just, I just had the idea, and I didn't want to lose it. Edit this out, me. <laughs> yes. Uh, but that's my notes for before. Um, and then I took some notes while rewatching it the other night. Um, editing was better because I knew what I was doing. Very true. Still not the greatest, but a lot better. Audio going kerfuffle like outside because uh, we only had like a small like recording device, so like I didn't have like boom mics or anything like that, so like couldn't really block out the wind a lot. But for outside, like getting that dialogue without the wind, like you know, really destroying it all, yeah, it was better. <laughs> it was I'm better. Having, I'm very thankful for that. Um, inside. Inside's fine. It's like what I expected it to be. Nothing different. Um, editing on my laptop was a nightmare. This is a almost a five year old laptop. I've been editing stuff on it. Like, like starting the project was fine. As I kept going and going, like it was like not. It did not want to. It wanted to die on me. I'm like, you're not dying on me. I'm getting this done. And. I got the first cut done, but then like apparently like the punching sound effects were all way too loud, so I had to go back and I had to individually lower every single punch sound effect that was in there. Like that sequence when Ben is punching me across the face where it's just nonstop. It's just in the yeah. Every individual one I had to go through and edit down because I couldn't like select all of them and do it because for some reason it doesn't work that way. I don't know why. So that was fun. <laughs> um and like sometimes whenever like when there was so much and I would like go back like it'd be like on a weird delay and like skip back and forth I'm like this is not helping me, <laughs> and so editing on that was a nightmare. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think those are my notes for then, and then we will stop and talk about it if you want to pause the yeah. film at any point, just like say stop or something like that. Yeah. And so I guess let us begin. Right. Uh, we know what we're doing. We do. I know technology. All right. And three, two, one, go. The credits are up way better. Yeah. Like, and like this is something I wanted to make sure that like I did well because the obviously the first one you couldn't read the jokes I had written in because like it was just all going by way too fast. Well, this film is not to lose my ego. Really comes off that way. <laughs> I also helped shoot the film. Okay. The jokes, the the jokes in this one, I could have I could form them a little bit better. Yeah. Or it's like maybe the timing. I don't know. Maybe we could have like gotten like the pun master or something. That pun was, master. You know. Are you saying my jokes aren't funny? No, I'm saying we could get someone whose whole job is to work on puns. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And these which could be you too. Which could be. I don't know. My humor is back and forth. And then we have an entire whole text like explaining the backstory of just me and no one else. Oh, seven months ago. Nope, it, it has been what? 24? 24 months? That's almost oh, two no, years. No, no, sorry. <laughs> That's 12 months. Right now, it's been over a year. But when this film came, I wanted this film to come out in December, but again, times and schedules wasn't going to happen, so this quote-unquote Christmas murder mystery did not come out correctly. Um, I know that you're my agent, and you're supposed to do all these great so cool far. directing yeah, yeah, I don't want for me, like, to do well, it for me, I can do it for you. But so far, oh, okay. where's my box of silver? I made the post for him and gave him the credit because I'm, I'm nice like that. So where's the money? I'm owed five million dollars, but... No, I don't have it yet. So, explanation? I don't care if your mom's working. I get her a boutique, a boutique of flowers. Whatever that word is. Okay, so this was take like four that we did? It was six, yeah. Six, <laughs> So, that was unintentional. I mean, messing up bouquet of flowers. I legitimately forgot what the word was. I know it started with a B and like was like boo something. And so I was just like guessing, and then like I was just like whatever that word is, I don't care. And so yeah. And if you can't tell, you can see Carpenter Ben's head right there. Could have framed the shot a bit better. That was more on my part, but. Like, that was more to set this out. This was the idea, this was the image I had when I first came up with the idea. It was me just, like, walking to my car, opening the truck, seeing the head. And, yeah, that's where this whole thing began. No, I don't care either. Don't you 
It's a red face. Is that my backpack or yours? I think that's mine. Virginia, Mississippi? Well, how do you have my number? Goodbye, weirdo. Oh, the wind does the wind. I love that Janner Mississippi is talking to me like he like he is my manager. Like he's going along with this bit, even though it makes no sense whatsoever. Like why would he tell me that he's a janitor in Mississippi? But like sometimes the wind goes through the audio. <laughs> love the wind. You wanna talk, well, about, I, you wanna yeah, talk okay. about this shot? <laughs> so to make this shot happen pretty well, uh I climbed in the back of his trunk. And I just stood there, like, cramped up like this, pointing the camera sideways like this. Because I was laying sideways. He had, to, he had to, like, cram to, like, a little ball, and, like, I had to, like, give him the camera. It's like, okay, I'm going to close the truck slightly. I will not close it in on you. You will be fine. And so, like, it was just, like, it was a weird thing to do just to have him cram in the truck. But we got the shot. I really, like, I really like the shot. I think one of your neighbors walked by while we were shooting that. I mean, you see that. I want to see that again just to see the shot. Cause I like the I like the opening of the of the trunk shot. I think we did pretty well with trying to keep ourselves out of the reflections. Yeah. Ah! Hey! I feel like the lighting is like something that like we couldn't control because you know outside and we didn't have external lights. I think the box switches positions in my hands. <laughs> Was this take three or take four? It was three, I think. Yeah, this is three. <laughs> uh, I want to say I did that on purpose, but I honestly don't remember. Uh, but, like, it's funny that, like, you know, more and more my friends lost, I'm just tossing his head on the trunk and just tossing it back in there, not delicately laying it down. Why do I call you guys when I'm just going to snap you there? Hey, oh, my cats is just sitting there. Wait, wait, how do you do it? What do you have? This is like, why are you doing this? I need to be calm. I need to get help. I don't think know what to do. But how do I get him over here so quickly? Oh, right. <laughs> now the snapping effects. I really like this. I love doing this. Pandas. I hate pandas now. Thank you. But like this was this was kind of an idea that we like barely messed around with in um, Super Ultra Mega Play the movie. Like when at the after the auditions for for the play, um, you like jump behind and then like we just instantly transport to the room. It's like I like doing that, and so I was like, how can I better incorporate that through a, through a snap rather than just like a pier or something like that. I just noticed this is a new couch because I remember that couch, and I'm like, wait a second, this doesn't <laughs> wait, feel right. This isn't right. <laughs> I but like this couch though. But I I had written like a whole like part, like like a kind of like a snap out between like all three of us, like where we would snap and like different clothes and like stuff would appear on us. Yeah. And then like once we like got the shooting, like that can't be done. Because every time we have to go to the bathroom to change. We'd, we'd have to keep the camera in the same same spot. We would have to like make sure that we're in the same exact like positions. And it's just like we don't have time to do that. I would love to do that in the future, but it just can't be done. Finally, <laughs> what the hell? You said a swear. Oh, that explains it. Glad snap still works. There go my Christmas plans. What did you bring us here for, Josh? I think you guys are just like, yeah. while we're here, we might as well go along with it. And like, the only continuity errors in this was really like the lighting, like when, like you see windows. Because yeah. again, couldn't really control that. I wish I could though. Because we finally got like the clothes down. Ben! We got the clothes to like never change. No! Love your reaction. <laughs> he was so, so young. I think that's like the only time Alex like looks at the camera. Uh, me. Not so much. He transitions from one to the other. And I love this punch that I love that sound effect so much. Where do you position the uh, recorder for the audio? But right now, this one will get to any tank top or anything. So I say we close the trunk. I'm cold. <laughs> yeah, because I was the only one who decided to wear sleeves for some reason. Short sleeves. You want to 
explain yourself about the stabbing of him that he did in the behind the scenes reel. He's like, I got this shot. And I'm glad I got this shot. Then you and Alex decided to just go full, I don't think, Wiley Coyote on his face. I, I, um, let's just say I wasn't happy. <laughs> what was, did he ever do to I you? I was hungry. What does that have to do with bringing out a murderous rage? I mean, shoot, people do it all the time. Not for food. Food's amazing, man. That's true, it is. Yeah. Yeah, that, that whole thing about hit the knife being in his head, me not noticing it, I forgot to get that shot beforehand and just didn't bother changing it because, like, when I hold him, there's nothing. There's me looking at the camera right there. That time it worked, though. Go, 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 go. I just switched off. Well, now that that's over with. Let's get down to business. I always love Alex's shirts. Who oh, yeah. killed Ben? Seriously, who would want to kill Ben? Sure, he didn't speak much, but when he did, it was like a choir of heavenly angels. I'm gonna miss both of them. Okay, look, we gotta come up with some kind of idea to find Ben's killer. Come on. Ideas, 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 ideas. Please don't tell me we're all going to disappear like at the end of Infinity War. Oh no, I don't have the kind of budget for events oh, like that. Idea. This is the best I can do. <laughs> oh, Vandal! Chase? Yeah, Vandal Boy. <laughs> I'll that you add like that like fall and drop down. And then just me like slightly yeah. moving the camera <laughs> because you're out of frame. I'm a great director. I mean, God, I mean, what? 45 different movies in seven months. I'm, I'm amazing, by the way, guys. You have no Again, idea. nothing to boost my ego in this film. It's only been seven months. I haven't been for seven It doesn't matter how many movies I make. What does matter, though, is because of how many movies I've made, I have become an expert in detective films. Really? What do you mean by you're an expert? Well, what I mean by I am an expert means that I'm an expert. So I know... What I mean by an expert is that I'm an expert. I'm an expert. <laughs> Dialogue, I don't know how to do it, and by dialogue, I mean improv. English. It just works. It does. Go exactly what to do, and exactly the person we need to solve this case. I love this. I love this entire part so much. <laughs> just because, like, I just love, like, black and white, like, detective stuff, and I just love the like, cliches thrown throughout it, that I just, like, I want to do this, and I have to do this. I think that's where like the whole idea of this really came about. It's like the three of us being like our own different detectives and like giving us all three of us like the chance to shine is like a different one. I'm like, okay, so we have the stereotypical black and white detective, Sherlock Holmes, Shaggy from Scooby Doo, the three biggest detectives in the world. <laughs> I, think, I think Alex could have made a better Shaggy. Honestly, I don't know. I just like I don't know Alex because I just remember he did. Um, um, when we did like the senior like picnic scavenger hunt thing, he was the French detective from Murder on the Orient Express. I'm like, uh, well, he could be in Sherlock Holmes. Why not? I don't know. I don't remember that because you know I wasn't with you guys. Oh, oh my gosh! I love your joke here. Why is it one of them black and white? Are we in the '80s? <laughs> Call me. Are we in the '80s? Love on. it. Your stereotypical '50s black and white low gravelly fire box shadow drinking detective. Wait a sec. If you're a detective, then where is your mustache? The mustache was taken with my soul after that clown shit me off some bacon. The inner monologuing was also key to this character because a black and white detective always in their monologues. But I wish I knew how to like do the like whole like kind of like echoey like voice like in the head. I know how to do it now. I wish I knew how to do it then, so that way it would be even funnier. Maybe in a few years you can go back and uh we edit all this stuff to make it better. Well, the problem is, is like, I want to also, like, show the project file, but I can't because, like, I'm missing, apparently I'm missing something, so, like, I can't view any of it because, like, there's, like, one thing missing because, you know, logic. Computers. We don't know how to, we can't live without them. We can't really understand them. Correct. It's the one in black and white. Because it's the color of my soul, both black and white. Yeah. Wait. I really should spend more time just like spitballing jokes to see which yeah. ones landed. <laughs> yeah, maybe like, well, how are you talking without you moving your mouth? Yeah, I don't think you guys filmed a whole lot of jokes. I don't remember. No, I don't think we 
was like most of the jokes came from I think Alex. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> He's amazing, Alex. You know, if you're watching this, you know, at the beginning it might have sounded like we we're kind of like we we're kind of angry at work. It's not. Not at all. We, we are you. not. You're we, awesome. we want you to be here. We love you. You are freaking hilarious. Like I can't. I hope that one day soon the three of us can make something together again. How is any of this helping us find this murder? I can't work under these conditions. Alright. <laughs> nice so that was also a challenge I had to find. It was like, how do I get like all everyone like out of here so that way like the detective like has a chance to shine? So I was like, okay, for me it's just the snap and then like when it was Alex, like you just were like, I can't do this again, like I'm leaving, I'm going to see a movie. And then for you, you were by yourself. So you yeah. know you oh, got you got oh, easy. Oh, I was there with Scooby. You were yeah, there with Scooby. Like, pow. A gravelly voice. My little gravelly voice. Leads. Hell. Oh, I've got leads. Just finding this like slow jazz piece took me forever because I had to find music that like you know obviously wouldn't get copyright strike. So it's just like I why is it so hard to find slow jazz music? Why is this so difficult? And I finally found it. And I'm so glad I found it because it just fits perfectly and I love it. Like when I had the lead in the middle school race on the track, but just like that race, I was the Johnny Bingleball and get ridiculed for all my days and nights, all tears, all nightmares. If I'm going to be able to solve this case, I need to hear, think, smell, and hear. And hear? Oh, I can hear all right. But just like in middle school band, I was just a giant bingo bombs trying to play. All tears, all nightmares. I need to get some jokes in my head. Maybe go walk around the car and look for everyone. I don't know. But I think I know exactly who was the monster that murdered this poor cardboard cut of a man. Oh, wait. I should probably get them out of the panty void. Why do we choose pandas? I think it's just what I, what I said was pandas because it's like the first thing that came to my head. Okay, it works. Yeah. I just wanted to know. <laughs> You're telling me I've been there twice! We're not. Going back there, alright? You're telling me! Alright, you know, we let Josh do his own thing. We don't have to deal with that again. He's, he's fine. He can handle himself. He can handle himself. I'm not fine. My only brother. You can barely hear it, but I say Ben. You hear like the end of it. So I'm fresh. And that, again, that was problem with editing on this because like I thought I would hear it all. Apparently I didn't. So, thank you, technology. And if you could see it's uh, like it was slightly starting to snow that day, but it's hard to tell. I wish it was like full on snowing. But anyway, I finally have a quarter right where I wanted to be in the old house I still live in. Got the memories. Running around in the backyard. Hello, brother. Catch ball with my old man. Losing my virginity and Jenny Pinklebaum in my bedroom. Gotta make some many mistakes. But now, I can I keep throwing good jokes about Jenny Pinklebaum. Why don't stop monologuing in my head? I hated that shot. I don't know why I didn't just appreciate it. You could barely hear it, but like, that was me running down the steps. Did it freeze? I had to like, freeze the image, um, just because. What? You you really think I was gonna hit the door down? What do you think your answer? No, animal, I can have some dignity here, okay? She's not like some crazy animal out for blood or anything like that. <laughs> Gotta get some blood. Blood! Oh god, not again. You think you just sit there playing your little games while a man's just been murdered? Let me guess, since you turned him down here with the gun, that means you think I murdered that person. Ah! I never said who it was that was murdered! Now this was always in the original script, no matter what was me just like con confronting my brother about being the murderer, and he's just, like, I'm not the murderer, why are, why are you putting this on me? But like now that he's the villain, it just kind of seems odd that like, yeah. like on a whim I was correct about it, but it makes no sense whatsoever. The most insane seem to be the insane after all. I guess. Somehow. I don't know. Somehow I was, somehow I was right. You know what I'm no evidence, no anything, like, for motivation or reason. Like, great writing a mystery. Yeah, it's, it's just, just like, it's just cussed to you saying, Ben, my own brother, how is this so blind? Because I think I originally had, like, like that whole, like, whiteboard, like, with evidence and whatnot. Yeah. And then, like, like I was talking to you guys about, like, you know, like, he's the murderer, like, you know, with this. And, like, there's something, it was, like, because, like, Ben Affleck, his name is Ben, and Ben's name is Ben, and Ben's don't like their names, like, being taken by other Ben's, and, like, some yeah, really yeah. weird thing, but at least it would have been something. Here, I'm just like, he's a murderer. He did it. He did it. Neither did I. But, 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 but,
I think that I'm a cop and I have a sniper rifle. <laughs> That's it. Signify to your life. And then, like, I just go straight up for murdering him. It's like, he's like, I didn't do it. I haven't done, like, well, time to die. Just take the, the judicial, um, you know, uh, court and just toss it. It's like, I'm, I am the law. Uh. <laughs> he pulls a gas. This was really hard to get, like, a book. It's like, I couldn't find, like, any kind of, like, machine gun sound. So I just, like, I could only find, like, the single sounds. And it was, like, I was trying to match it up. But, like, there was just so much. I was, like, yeah, I was there. Like, that was the best I could do. I did not have seen it coming. 15 rounds from a gun straight to the chest. Just like when Jimmy Bickerbong shot when I stole her car. Lost the place too much. Cold. Wet. Stinky. I should have recut. I should have cut the audio and like this like a little bit better because like there's just this long pause like before I'm like oh wait I pee my pants it's just like wait but you already what Ugh. oh god did I just pee my pants oh why the humanity vengeance. Ah, boy. Well, doesn't look like Josh is coming back anytime soon. Thanks, Imaginary Watch. <sighs> we're still nowhere near closer to solving this case than we were before. Got any ideas? I don't know, man. Maybe this case is just, well, unsolvable. I love it that, like, my little brother, like, was shooting me down in the basement and, like, whatnot, and you're like, well, I guess he's not coming back. We it's like, didn't hear anything. We didn't hear anything. <laughs> no case is unsolvable. Then... We have. Nothing. I think we should have reshot this. Like when, like when Alex like go, like goes up, enough, it's like he kind of like looks at the camera. He's like, "Oh, I got to stand now." I got it. See? Yeah. We can't go to the police, which means we'll have to. I don't know why room. I placed the lights there. I was like, "That's fine for the shot." I think that's what we're doing. Josh, the couch of course. To so we must be Some of it's fine, but this one just kind of seems awkward. After them all, why? I'll become none other than. Shut up. Uh, no. Nope. No. No. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to a Ruby Tuesday on a Tuesday. And I'm definitely not going what back to a Ruby Tuesday. What made you say going to a Ruby Tuesday on a Tuesday? No, 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 no. Never again, Alex. Not here. Not then. Not in the pit of wood. And definitely not at Ruby Tuesdays. Goodbye. You get back here this instant, Watson! Fuck! You were originally supposed to like punch me out. Yeah, I'm trying to. Oh, God. I'm trying to. Yeah, because it was like. Like, in the very original script, like, when I, like, was still, like, in this whole thing, um, it was like he would, like, keep punching us because that was. He was based on, like, Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock Holmes, yeah. like, you know, fist fight punch and whatnot. So it's like, just like, whenever anyone says anything, like, he just punches us. Originally, he punches us so much, he knocks us both out. Yeah. Um, and then I think even when I rewrote it, like with me out of this, like he was still punching you, but then we were just like, we don't have time to film all that. We yeah. can't do that. Yeah, it was also kind of weird with the angles too, because I was supposed to stand right in front of me, like, you know, yeah, that's Josh right. did this a lot better. I, re I remember doing that, because like we were like, but then like it just wasn't, it just like wasn't working. And I was like, eh, it's like, next thing, we just solved this case. Director of the year. <laughs> so I already know exactly who it is. Yes, I know precisely who the murderer is. He should be here shortly. What's funny though is I wrote in a joke about like that, like what specific Sherlock Holmes he was. You're not gonna understand it, mm -hmm. and like even like with the fight, like it's a direct homage to that. But like again, if you haven't seen him, you're not gonna know it. Nope. <laughs> it was like I'm Robert. I'm the Robert Downey Jr. version. I have the least convincing British accent of them all. Something like that. We love you, Robert. Though. You're good. You. Sponsor, sponsor this channel. Oh, thank you, Sherlock. You're welcome, Sherlock. Oh, you do flatter me so. I think I cut that really early because, like, I think he like immediately like looks at the camera. And this was the very first thing that we shot was this whole scene. Who could be knocking at this dire hour? I uh, I got <laughs> the the CGI Superman face and the wrong <laughs> the wrong franchise. <sighs> the wrong man of um red and blue. 
Yeah, I don't know why. I was like, you know what? I can still wear a Captain America shirt. It'll be fine. Makes no sense, but I don't have a Superman shirt, so like, eh. I thought you did. I don't. Ooh. Like, this whole idea of like, you know, like him like pointing out Superman being the one, like, is the murderer, like, was there from the very beginning, like, even this whole face thing. But, the, that picture did not come out the way I wanted it to, and like, I don't think it's gonna come out the way I want it to, so I gotta deal with it. And it's like, unless you look closely at it, you're not gonna know what it is. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. <laughs> Shut up! Come with me. I have something to show you. This, this is my dog. Her name's Pearl. She's actually quite cute. But actually, this is what I meant to show you. This, it's a badge. It means that I am a private eye, which means that I get to detect. Just things. throwing things. I have been charged. I think my original idea for like this whole part was like, um, like a flashback to like like, very early films, it's, like, you know, like, piano, like, no one, like, talks, and it's, like, just, like, subtitles, like, what appears, like, that whole thing to, like, see, like, how it happened, but, again, time and, like, no way of, like, doing that, so, like, then I, and I hate exposition, I hate doing it without, like, any kind of visual thing, so it's, like, I just had to resort to this, because there was, like, no, like, there was no other way, but, like, really drawn out. <laughs> so many good ideas had to be scrapped. I know. That's what happens when you work with no budget. Yep. Oh, well. Uh, I believe you enough to have murdered Look, bro, I uh, honestly have no idea what you're talking about here. Well, the fact you're wearing your glasses Because there is no way to hold it up. So I'm like, well, glasses over. That's the way it's going to be. Like, this was, like, the logical reason that he was coming to. It's like, Batman beat you in that fight, so it's like, now you wanted to murder him. Yet Superman is a bean burrito delivery person? I think the original idea I had was, like, just him, like, running into him at, like, a movie theater or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that, 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 that's what we had. And then, we, me and you, me and Alex were supposed to go to the movies, and then he'd run into him, and then he'd, like, snap into Shrek. And it's like, like, yeah, it was, like, something like that. And then, like, I think, like... Another point that I changed to like a basketball court because he like you know works out and stuff like that. I don't remember that. And then like this, that was like in like the second rewrite, and then like it just result resorted to this, making absolutely no sense. That is it. Well, I'm going to prove that you did. Uh, how are you going to do that? Well, you won't come quietly. Then you and your heart. And I absolutely love this part, and like I wanted to film it kind of like how the movie was, but I kind of figured that wasn't going to work, so we decided like, okay, we're just going to film it at this angle and see what happens. First, a jab to the throat, followed by a quick knee to the groin, and then another knee to the groin, or an elbow to the back, followed by repeated punches to the back. And one more kick and one more time, just for good measure. <laughs> then you run away. Actually, you come back. You want to take the pain away, but it's okay. And then you kick him again while he's down. Uh, I think you can hear like me chuckling just because like I couldn't contain <laughs> it. <laughs> And I could have filmed this one better. That was terrible. I tried to disguise like the punch to like filming at different angles. Did not work. The slap did work though with um, Star Wars last year. That did work. We got that to work, thankfully. Hey Alex, I'm back from the uh, show I filmed the movie with uh, Will Ferrell. How ironic that film came out at the same time that we were making yeah, this. I actually went to see it with um, my uh, friends and cousin. I did not see it. Uh, let's just oh, say, didn't give me any ideas, and there's gonna be a lot of Rotten Tomatoes about that movie. Alex? Alex? 
I like that even though you're like, I don't want any other part of this, but you're just like, okay, well, I guess it's up to me now. Enslaved or dead, so... Yeah, I love this joke. Guess it's up to me. So let's see, who's one of the craziest, laziest, unreliable detectives there is? Hmm. Well, Josh isn't here, so <laughs> I guess this will have to do. You have some inner secrets about me that you want to reveal, sir? <laughs> and anyway. yeah, fun. So the explanation as to why this is Scooby, um, we had no Scooby doll, and we had no dog that looked like a Scooby. Wait, what are we gonna do with some cat? That would have been funnier. Damn, that would have been funnier. Yeah. Dang it! Then we couldn't take your cat outside. Yeah, that's true. That would have been bad. We could have borrowed someone's cat, you know. You should have been like an animal that like wasn't even a dog, and you're like, wait, you're not Scooby, why do you look like this? Something, anything. Oh, hey, Scoob. Scoob, uh, you look different. I'm like, hey, man. But yeah, but uh, this was supposed to be my real voice. Uh, we, we work with what we got. Coming for Ben. Cute. Ben, Ben's killer. Yes, he has a frania. The wind overpowered the audio on this one, though. It makes me mad. Just I love it. You just awesome. It's great. Myself in the face I don't remember. You did. Even though we told you don't do that, you did it. Yeah, you just only take a bunch of different shots. I think some of these, I like that, I was gonna keep in the blue reel. I'm like, I don't keep it in, I don't care. Makes no sense. <laughs> hey, Scoob, did you find anything? No? I knew that basketball hoop was a crappy idea. It's soft for these cat holes that work for like that. Scoob, stop eating Santa! It's Maybe we should head him, like, face down. Where's I'm on the wrong list? Scoob, we're supposed to be finding clues, not eating people. You just leave Scooby to die. Love it. I love how it took me a while to get your door open. Yeah, I think it adds to it though. Remember, I came right here and sat down for like a good minute though while we were that computer come in. And I absolutely love this part. This came out pretty much exactly how I wanted it to. Remember, I tried to go into the small closet. You did. One of the shoots. It's like very it's, it's in the It's in the blooper reel. It was hard to find music like anywhere close to it, so like this was like the best thing that I could find. Scoop! Stop it! There was, but you just wouldn't have worked with the whole thing of the plot. Okay, for those of you that can't tell, this is where the villain is supposed to be. This is a last minute addition because like I needed him to be in the shop for it to make sense. But overall in the story, it doesn't make sense. It just do it doesn't. We'll get more time later. Know, this goes really is. This is also where continuity mistakes go in. You pulled it off differently, and you pulled it oh, you like pull it down, and then in this shot you pulled it over. Oh, yeah. Josh, I have a sock in my mouth. In this shot, I don't have a sock in my mouth. Hey, I remember you wanted to do that. It's not even like tie it around my mouth, <laughs> and like you make it like a sound effect, like it's tape. And I thought that's like what I was going to do, but I'm like a sock's the best thing I have. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, look behind you. What? So all of that made absolutely no sense. Why was I the ghost? Why was I tied up? Why was that Why was that bad guy there? What does that even mean? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. I think the original intention for, like, the ghost was, like, in the early on stages of it was, like, it was just, like, a kid practicing trick-or-treating, like, two months after yeah. Halloween ended. Um, and, like, he was, like, more running away from us than, um, than, like, him chasing us. So, like, better explanation, but, like, this, I came up with no explanation as to why was it me, why was it, like, it, it how was my, why was my mouth tied up? Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I'll, I'll, all problems of this one go on to me. Yeah. I don't know why, but... 
Oh, I was actually tied to that chair. You, you tied weren't. yourself to that yeah. chair, and I told you not to do it, and <laughs> we, you still did it. We used wires, like just we just HDMI used like, cables. Yeah, we just yeah. like used cables because like I wasn't like gonna use like rope or anything. I wanted to make it easy for us to untangle ourselves. And this guy goes and actually ties himself to the chair. <laughs> did I almost fall? You fell. You did. It's in the blooper reel. Oh, yeah. Look up, you oh, lazy bums. Oh, Wait, what's funny is that this cabinet of ours didn't even bother tying our hands oh, together. Oh, oh, oh. So, like, we could sling it pretty easy. Up. What up? Uh, why are we kind of? It's time to pay for what you've done. Angry Batman reference. Uh, we gotta have the Batman reference. That's not why I'm angry about this. I'm angry that I couldn't even find the Santa hat in the house for this, like, to even make sense. Because Santa Batman was going to be a much, was a much more prominent figure in the original scripts. Was that and, up here? Huh? The, the hat. I don't, I know, if I swear if it was. Yeah. Like, the original idea behind Santa Batman was, it's like, we got, like, we're terrible detectives, so we might as well call it the best detective there is, and so, like, we call a Batman, and then, like, eventually, like, Batman knocks us all out, reveals who it is, reveals that it's Jenny Binklebottom, it's like, oh, oh my god. Wow, you have a beard and, and a deep voice, it's like, whoa. It's like, you did a surprisingly, okay, then. But, like, and now it's just like, I didn't even... I didn't even bother trying to, like, you know, give a reasoning besides, like, it's like, well, we gotta have Batman in this, because uh, it makes no, because, like, we can't do any of this without who, Batman. Who are you gonna have Jenny B Bigglebottom be, like, I, I hadn't even thought, I hadn't even, I hadn't even thought of looking that far ahead in, into it, because, like, because I'm bad. <laughs> Maybe we can reference this later on. I want to, I want to bring that detective character back, and I want to bring Jenny Bigglebottom back as well. By the way, I'm Santa Batman, I'm Santa Batman, I know it looks, I know it looks weird, and I wear it to your me so much. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'm Santa Batman. I just lost my Santa hat at the wash, and my second presence was stolen by reindeer. I know, it sounds weird, but I'm Santa Batman. You got it? Got it? Good. I love that fear hates me so much. Really? Come on. Santa Batman? But I needed a villain. It was an, an artistic choice. You know, some people just don't understand art. I was trying to give us a good Christmassy themed villain, and I wanted to throw... We shot this before I shot that shot with, like, Santa Batman, so, like, I still originally thought he was gonna look, like, Santa-ish, so, like, this dialogue makes no sense. Batman in here, because we can't do any of this without Batman. So, basically, the person who tied us all up is your creation, and therefore is it all your fault. Well, when you put it like that, fix it. How? Maybe we can reason with that. Santa Batman, you know you like to like do I justice and cool like stuff and give presents to people. Yeah. Why do you that, want why to I, murder I, I, us? I'm on that. That one, Fine. You want to know the truth, doll? And this this also infuriates me because like I didn't think uh, when I like did this. I had to like zoom in because like I shrink from like my height to my little brother's height. You know, obviously because yeah. logically. All <laughs> truth, gosh darn truth. Fine. I'm actually. Me. Ha! I told you it was him. What was that? Here, I don't think it's going to be the end. This could be done like ten minutes, and now look where we are. Alex is even fully tied up. His wires are coming undone. To die from him. So, whose fault is it now? Still your fault. You said this. This is a mess. Well, when you put it like that, it's still your fault. Yeah. You're the one who stopped us here. Uh, Our improv game was not, not on point like it was in Super Ultra Mega Play the movie. Just, okay. Why do you want to murder us, and more specifically, me? Yep. I'm your brother. <laughs> Shut up. Before I kill you, let me take you back months ago to your auditions for your film. Gosh, I was wondering if I could play the part of Ben. I don't know, we get the role to one of our friends. His name's Carpo Cut Up, and I'm like, he's a really swell guy, you should meet him sometime. <laughs> the evil <laughs> face of his life. He's like, 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 like the dark yeah, guy. Like, yeah. Yeah. Don't you think murder is a bit of an overreaction? Since you gave the part to a cardboard box, I'll finish the job. And like, that makes there was no sense. <laughs> it makes no sense at all. But there was supposed to be a shot in there of like him like slowly pulling the trigger like in slow motion. So like, our freaking out like makes sense. I just didn't do it. <laughs> He's got a gun. He's got a gun. Shoot him! I didn't do anything. Again, what is what 
what secret th- hatred do you have for me? <laughs> it's like Josh is lazy. He's a ter- he's a terrible detective. It's like shoot him. It's not the me. way I decided to design the character this one because last time I was just like an airhead, like yeah. like in the, in the, like Super Ultra Mega play the movie. This one I decided just to be in a butt. I decided to be a butt. I just I just want to do something fun and so much. Give me a second to think. I'm twerking. We could use our hands. Okay. Freedom! He's still gonna get like a... Uh. I don't know why they didn't function this much. I really don't know why they didn't function this much. Look at that focus, not even on my face, oh. but the... Uh. I'm not gonna do anything, I mean... I'm just like, I'm not gonna do anything, 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 Oh, and you guys completely disappear from the background as well. Like, you're supposed to be there, the chairs are supposed to be there, or Alex is supposed to be there. Completely gone. Be a little fisher and do anything. I mean, I'm Josh Murdoch. I am invincible. I am all the good things in life. That punch came out really well. Yeah. Uh, can we do anything to help? I think all we can really do is provide more support. Uh, fair enough. You don't really have the budget for a large according that fight. Like either you guys oh, can just run over and just like grab just, his arms. Just, just that. It's the only way. Uh, yeah. I should have thrown it in the line. It's like he deserves this. We sh- we don't need to help him. Mm-hmm. Something like that. <laughs> this fight pretty short. Do you want to keep it in your butt kicked by a ten year old? No. Then just do it. Okay. <sighs> Anticlimactic nice. at its best. I'm sorry, guys. I'm to this mess. Yeah, it's okay. That was the most exciting part of my day. Oh. We completely like forget about like our friend is dead. Like he's been murdered. It's like well, well, it's, well it's like well, we did it. It's done. Uh, good, good seeing you all. Good seeing you all. I guess I'll see you all next time. <laughs> see you in a year. Yeah, yeah. This was a this is a day. Wait, I just got. I got a new idea for a film, guys. All right, hear me out. I know, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but Santa. What are you guys' Batman. reactions? It's like not again. Uh, uh, what do you guys think? Uh, I'll take it as a yes. Uh, All right. Now, if we're gonna be starting on the pre-production, we need to. Oh fuck! It's like you know, brother's like an android, like you know, somewhere else. I love this ending music, guys. Oh, I love it to death. Basically everyone had a hand in the production of this. Works really well yeah, for that. I love that. Like really evil. I love that. No, don't start over again. Uh, so what was it like reminiscing on on this? Uh, Thank you to all the problems we had. Uh, I see a few things I can improve on. I see nothing you guys can really improve on. Oh, I like, see a maybe, lot. Maybe like just like us maybe stay in place certain certain shots as we just disappear again. There's a lot of problems um, with this. And like once it gets to like the third act of like when like you get like knocked out, it's like that's when it all just comes crashing down. Like all motivations and like anything and everything. There's nothing. Because that, that was after Christmas, I believe. That was that yeah, that was way yeah, after Christmas. Yeah, that's also when we lost it because we had like a cool little recorder thing for all like the um sound, and that's when he had to give it back. Yeah, so but that I'm glad we got the outside audio with. I'm still mad though that I didn't rework the script well enough to be able to accommodate like, you know, what we had and what we didn't have. It just became that. Oh well. Uh, but 
but time is not a fun thing to work with. And, like, it somehow still worked more in our favor for Super Ultra Mega Play the movie, and I still don't know how it did. Like, yeah, it's I just mean, like, it was lightning in the bottle, like, lightning in the bottle for whatever that film is, but, like, it is, but it's a it's a mystery. I feel like Super Ultra Mega Play the movie, if you combine some of these things we've learned from both of them, or you more I, or less, you what you've learned, you know, we could improve upon it. I mean, I think Super Ultra Mega Play, where it downfalls, is more of the lighting. It's more of, like, lighting and, like, the audio in, like, certain parts and then, like, the ending of, like, the, at least the play because it's, like, we improvised that whole thing so it's, like, we didn't really know how to end it so we yeah. just kind of ended it. But, like, even in terms of that, like, there was still, like, an entire, like, well, like, thought out plot but, like, in terms of, like, characters, character development, it wasn't there. <laughs> it it wasn't, went out the window. That was there the to begin with. Like, we had motivation for what we were doing but then that was it. It never came back. This one, it's like, we have reason and motivation, but do we ever grow and change? No. Nope. <laughs> we don't. We are static characters. That's that's the right thing, right? Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> we don't, we I don't know change. English. We don't change. Nothing happens. We are, we are like, we gotta find this murderer. We found him. Okay, good seeing you guys. Yay! <laughs> good seeing you. It's just like, so like inconsequential what happened. You know, it's well, like, we know what we should have done, because you know, um, afterwards we'd always, sometimes we'd get dominoes. Uh, we should have like filmed a scene like that, just us having a pizza party, and then just, dude, and then like, Ben's body, on, or not Ben's Ben, ben snatched like, back. Yeah, or Ben Affleck's body was something on the floor. <laughs> that would be We're dark. eating pizza <laughs> off of him. <laughs> that would then be dark, but still. Well, like, then, what would have been even funnier is, like, that would have been well after you guys, like, stabbed his face in. So it's like, seeing that, it's like, what happened to his face? I don't know. I guess he's allergic to pizza. I guess. But, yeah. It's it's fun looking back on, on these films that we've made. And it's like, looking at it, it's like, looking what worked, what didn't work, and, like, how how much we both have grown and somehow have, like, devolved somehow. I have devolved majorly, man. We, we all devolved in our own special ways. I'm, like, maze. 20 pounds heavier. Ah, uh, but, life... It's, uh, like, it's a, it's you a, live it. You live it. You love it. You you deal with it. You, you deal with it. That's the best. That's the best way to end this video. It's like you like you deal with it. That's the best thing we could say. But it was fun for missing on this. I wish Alex was here. But yeah. you know, life. We love you. We miss you, man. I mean, same thing with Mr. Lovely. If you're watching this, we love you. We miss you. I hope I can see you again before the end of the year. Um, I'm walking again. You know, I'm walking in here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, because of the usage. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun. I uh, hope that this summer and, like, other times, like, we can make more stuff. And then, yeah, and I'm, I'm back. I'm going to be making more stuff this summer because I have time now. So, like, look out for a whole lot of new stuff coming. I still yeah. don't know how to do outros correctly, but this was fun. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess we will see you guys next time. All right. Later. Peace.